Hello everybody, welcome to the Bales Hay Farm and Ranch YouTube channel. I am Trevor Bales. Yes, my last name is Bales, and yes, I used to bale hay. The company still bales hay, I never bale hay. I drive a squeeze and run around and tell people what to do, and put out fires. I'm on one of those fires right now. Before we get into it, I wanna thank my sponsors, Flu, uh, Forney and Fluidol. Forney, great sh stuff for your shop. Oh, we, like right now we're rebuilding balers. We use those fine little grinding tips they spin around you put them on electric or, or uh, air air pistols and they spin and you grind stuff down we'll work on the knotters instead of buying new knotters we'll um we'll, we'll weld them and then grind them down and make them smooth again and then fluid all just you i mean we use their stuff daily we just uh serviced our semis yet uh two of the semis yesterday and use all their stuff super awesome stuff check them out We're making hay. So I guess I wouldn't say I'm putting out a fire. Um, if you remember from previous videos, I bought a new forklift to turn into a yard squeeze. And everyone's like, oh, you have too many squeezes. I'm gonna sell one. Like I'm not gonna have two yard squeezes. I'm gonna sell the one yard squeeze. But anyways, which if you need a yard squeeze, let me know. The only reason I'm getting rid of this one, two reasons. Uh, it runs nonstop. Like we're always using it. But because it runs, stop, runs nonstop, we have to change the brakes once every couple years and they're a huge pain to, to, to change our wedge brakes too because it runs non-stop in our gravel driveway we wear out tires and the tires are split rim, split rims the wheels are split rim wheels and i hate the split rims so uh i found this other forklift no no air so the air the the wedge brakes these one the system excuse me it runs off i just had some breakfast burritos from rudy's they're so good um <clears throat> this one runs on air which uh runs the brakes <clears throat> this new one is all hydraulic so the brakes are drum so i'm going to a machine i'm really switching because it's easier for my shop not so much it doesn't drive any different it's the same machine just newer uh what's great about my old one it's got five valves so a, a handle for up and down tilt forward and back um side shift in the squeeze then open left handle close left handle open right handle close right handle so it's it's kind of unique and it's old so the driver's seat is all the way on the left hand side so you can see out the window or you can see straight ahead and you can see where you're going and what you're doing so it's it's a unique squeeze um people love them the new one only has four handles i'm currently at a forklift junkyard which i come here a lot the owner super nice guy <laughs> a lot of funny conversations his name is Manny this place is called Eminem lift Eminem lift truck salvage and so Manny's pretty cool <clears throat> that new forklift only has the the, the four valves he found a, a valve body with made out of three but they're the same kind as mine so I can take it apart and take one out of the middle and add it to mine and then the handles as well so he's got this cool crane it's like a forklift slash crane it's old heister I want it just in my shop just to pick stuff up instead of having a crane that just sat there i have one on, a, on on wheels i guess but i this knowing this one it doesn't run but it still it looks off it's off of thomas thomas the train i'll show it to you it's pretty funny so that crane doesn't remind you of thomas the train there's a the guard dog it looks like it should go on a track and but i want that in my shop it just sits there and we could just pull motors and pull we don't really pull motors often but pick stuff up many i kind of want that crane Kind of. I, I just put it in my shop and it would just pull. It, yeah, I can get it running. It runs good. Does it really? Yeah. It looks expensive. No, it's not. Everybody, that's Manny. I'm talking to you about that. Manny, that's everyone. You can wave if you want. <laughs> look at this thing. You just put it in the shop and then... Oh, look. It's got one tire in the back so it could turn really sharp. <clears throat> Check this thing out. This would make a gnarly squeeze. I don't think you would like it though, for this squeeze. Huh, wild. He says it runs. What that means to Manny, I don't know, but he says it runs. This place is just full of everything. There's a telehandler. This thing looks like it will never run again, just parts. So if you need 
anything forklift related this guy can find it that's he does a ton of stuff for me oh also so this is a real secret this is what makes him the gym if you need the the owner's manual for a forklift he probably has it and he has like one of the last ones left in the world probably and so he he's given he's made me a couple manuals because they're just hard to get i thought about buying this this one right here but it's too big it's a lot it's the same body as mine but it's a twenty thousand pounder it's just a big machine it's too big i mean if someone wanted a really big squeeze this could be a really big squeeze but not for me there's a blue forklift green ones there's a forklift getting picked up by another forklift that thing looks electric which that'd be kind of cool to have that i don't think this one will ever work again but i could be wrong you never know that one's got those two little steer tires guys look at storage let's just put this stuff on top of that shade okay manny manny's awesome though i like manny he just got back he, he did like a three week vacation to portugal maybe it was only two weeks either way he said it was awesome Look at all these forklifts. If you need parts, he will mail them to you. And, he, and this yard just keeps going. He's got so much stuff. So much stuff. <clears throat> all right, let's go find him. See if, um, I wonder if my parts are laying out here in this stuff. I don't see them anywhere out here. They're somewhere. Yeah, none of that's my stuff. Oh, he looks busy. Surprised that we had this stuff. You're surprised. Are you kidding me? Look at all this stuff. It was, the first, it was the first valve. For some reason, it was the first valve that we looked at. It was it was right there. <clears throat> this is what we need right That's, here. That's the end. Right. You could use this and you could use yep, this. I, I'd, use, I'd use this middle one. Yeah. But I'll just take the whole thing from you and yeah. then just keep them. <clears throat> Let me, uh, you want to see the levers? The levers yeah. are. Let's go see the levers. They're high up in the air. I, well, how'd you get the picture if they're way up in the air? I climbed up there. You climbed up there. Is there anything you don't supply people with? Well, yeah, there's a lot of times I don't have exactly what they need, but, but well, we try. I gave a guy your number yesterday. He uh -huh. might call you. He's in, okay. he's in uh, El Cent an Imperial Valley. Uh -huh. He needs uh, the up, down, the, the main cylinder on a... Did he call you yet? I don't know. He oh. might, have, might have talked to Lori. Well, I gave him your phone, your cell phone. Look, at right up there is... What are those ones? Caterpillar. Well, what, that's what I'm running. Well, but no, but the ones that I'm talking about are the ones that came off. The right there. Right oh, there. Well, but these, I, I I also need these. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll sell you anything you want. You think that's the same size rod? It's hard to tell. I mean, we could just pack that off. Just the handle is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> oh, be careful. Safety oh. safety third over here at M&M. Oh, there's more handles. So those handles are pretty common then. Okay. Yeah, these are. These are. You can make it. What's that? You can make it work. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was take... thinking that this is the same as your <clears throat> your forklift. Watch your head. Watch your head. It makes it something else. Well, yeah, I need those other things too. I need all of them. Oh yeah. I see. That's more. This stuff right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need these. Yes. Well, that's all I need right there. Yeah. It's off a cat. It's not quite the not quite the same model, but uh, it'll work for you. Yeah, it will. I think I need the longer handles. Well, you want that? I'll too. take them both. Yeah. Take them both. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I love I love coming places where you find fun stuff. Isn't it fun? <laughs> he didn't even, he didn't been, even know it, he had this. It's been fun for us. <laughs> did I, you? I knew the model was up there, but I just didn't know the did, exact parts. Did you? Have you put everything in here? Is this like a, a generational thing, or is this just all you? Uh, it's just all me. All you. Yeah. All Did me. you buy this yard, or have you we put everything the in this? We property, and then we brought everything from... We were on wow. the east side of town, and we brought everything to the west side. So from the east side to the west. How many years ago? Oh, 23 years ago. Oh, wow. You know everything there is to know about forklifts, don't you? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Not the new stuff. Not the new Not stuff. Not the new stuff. Yeah. That stuff is still, that stuff is complicated. Benny's a lot of fun. I like to tease him. He's easy to tease me. He teases me back. <laughs> he keeps asking me. He sent me a bill for like $7,000 because he wanted to go to uh, Africa. <laughs> I said, what? Oh, God. Luckily, that place I that you've been it. to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Golly. 
Manny's great. Love Manny. He just did that. I think I just told you guys to did that big trip to Portugal. So he just got done asking me all about Africa. Man, so he wants for that crazy heister crane. He wants $5,500. So if you guys need that crane, I might buy it. I don't know. I'm just saying it'd be kind of cool to have around the shop. Um, if if I need to pick up the one of my trailer or my doubles to work on it and I'm not in the shop, I could just drive that out there. Don't have to bring a jack. Um, you said there weren't very many made, but man... Fifty-five hundred for a for a crane. We're thinking about it. it. Doesn't go very high. He's gonna look up the uh, the the max capacity. The only thing is, it just doesn't pick up. It doesn't. It's not very high in the air. But that's it's probably okay. Back to the farm. We can start tinkering. We're also working on the green and white squeeze. The the up and down cylinders are leaking pretty bad. So we are going to talk to Jeff at Sunny D. I'm just going to disconnect everything, tip it over, slide the two cylinders out. It should be two pins with two bolts and then, oh my gosh, we started to try to break these two bolt, bolts loose that are threaded um, yesterday. They did not budge, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to get the old torch out and heat it up. We'll see. All right, headed back. Back at the shop, there's green behind us, green and white. Manuel's helping me. We bought two new balers this year, so we're not rebuilding any. He just pulled this out, which was down right there. I'm gonna... We're pulling here, two, three, four. They hold the uh, clamp to the chassis. Safety third at Bales Hay Sales. Look how crazy this squeeze looks with no clamp on it. I kind of want to take it on date night. <laughs> it looks funny. So it's off. So we learned this is a return line. My other squeeze does not have that. 
I'm going to pull these off too. I'd like to have these. Those are cast. I don't know. Like, pull them off. Sweet. Got as far as we're going to get with the uh, uh, squeeze today. We're going to pull off the tilt rams. I notice they're leaking a little bit. Uh, so we'll pull those off and I'll take those in tomorrow with the tall ones. Drop all that off. We're just talking while that mast is down it is the easiest time to change bearings might as well change them thanks for watching the show today got the mud somewhat cleaned up there's like a 60 percent chance of rain tonight which is weird because this is buckeye arizona this thing's laying here we decided we're going to pull every bearing off of it and put all new bearings on while it's laying here now is the time to do it so that squeeze is going to sit there looking funny i might have to tease my wife and take it on date night Anyways, thanks for watching the show, you guys. Hope you liked it. Please leave a comment. Hit the like button. Share it. All those things. It help us, helps us a lot. Keeps these videos coming. Have a great day. Bye.